What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel, Team Gradelock here. Of course, I'm your host, Henry Henry Rico from, from Team Gradelock, and today is our Car 5 Vanguard Premium Mark Watch. Meaning in this video, we're only going to go over cards in premium format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. Now, before we begin, begin remember to comment, like, subscribe, check out our channel for more videos such as their profiles, match videos, more Mark Watch videos. Every Thursday is going to be a Santa Mark Watch, and every Friday is going to be our Premium Mark Watch. So, Hit that bell button for notifications to know when our videos are up and running. And yeah, uh, so one thing I do want to say before we start the Mark Watch is that a lot of people have been asking me, why are your videos going up, going up so late? Why are, they, why are they going up like at 6 or 7 or 8 o'clock or even 9 o'clock at night? Um, the reason why is because my laptop is getting old. I had this laptop for more than five years now. It's about to hit, it, it's about to hit its sixth year. Um, so everything on my laptop is very slow. Even, the, even my uh, editor software. Uh, beforehand, whenever I had videos that's less than 20 minutes, the editor would take up to like like 10 minutes or even 15 minutes to, to, to finish uploading it as a video. Now, it takes almost 30 to 40 minutes to upload any videos that's that's between 10 minutes and 20 minutes. And whenever I do a video that's longer than, than 20 minutes, it takes almost an hour and a half to finish editing, to, to finish going through the editing process before I even upload it to YouTube, which which takes even longer. So I do apologize. Uh, my laptop is breaking down. It, uh, the motherboard is going bad eventually. Uh, but once this laptop goes, uh, most likely I'm, I'm going to start using my Microsoft Surface Pro. Or if not, I'm going to invest into an, a PC. And hopefully that's not soon. That's not any, anytime soon. But just give me guys a heads up. Anyways, enough about my life. Let's get on to let's, let's uh, get on to the mark watch to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. Now, the first card that I want to talk about is one who hunts souls belongs. This triple R stride for Duck regulars is still a phenomenal triple R stride. This card does so much work being a quad drive and guard guard restriction. There is multiple listings. Sorry, there's three listings. That's for that's uh, less than six bucks. After that, it's heading towards the six to seven to eight to nine dollar range and there's only eight listings uh the, the cheapest one is moderately played for four bucks and change after i lightly played four bucks and change but again it's heading towards the five dollar range or more so again one who one who hunts souls belongs a phenomenal stride for dark regulars if you guys don't know dark, dark regulars are definitely seeing a lot of meta play in the format right now so belong definitely a guaranteed stride in almost every dark regulars uh, every dark regulars deck Fun fact, gold piling cards. A lot of them are money, especially this card. Gregor Helios, the SPs are still 40, 40 bucks and then eventually $58. But the triple R's are still above the market price, holding at 13 to 14 bucks. Has not really changed, hasn't went down, but I'm happy to see that it hasn't hasn't been going up in value. Even though there's only two listings left for 14 bucks, but after that it's heading towards the $18 range. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but you guys never know. Again, gold pilings are still meta and not all gold piling card, not all gold, gold piling players main this card in their in the stride zone, but a few of them actually do. So Gregory Helios is they're still value. So we just got more Revenger support from for Shadow Pilings, but this card is still holding its value. True Revenger Raging a Wrapped Dragon. The SPs are still twenty bucks, but the triple R's are still above the market price, holding at eight eight to nine dollars with only five listings again this is a pretty old card for for shadow pilings this came in bt i'm sorry g bt09 so it's a pretty old card but again this card is pretty broken if you actually are maining pure revengers um again this card has not went down in price ever since revengers came out um in my honest opinion, I don't think it's eight eight dollars. It should be maybe like five or three bucks, five or four bucks. It shouldn't be eight bucks. So if you guys are actually trying to get trying to pick up these cards, try to pick them up for like five bucks. Now this card is slightly gaining value just with the fact that a few gold pilot decks are that are topping are teching are maining in one 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 copy of this card. I'm sorry, two like one or two copies of, of this card. Knight of Springs Light Barrymores SPs are still seven to eight bucks, but the triple R's there is ten listings. Two of them for four bucks. After that, it's heading towards the five dollar range, and then eventually six to seven dollar range. So the triple R's are going up in the market. So at this point, if this card actually does go up, go up in the market anytime soon, I recommend to actually pick up the SPs because again, the SPs are only seven to eight bucks, while the triple R's are almost on their way up to seven to eight dollars. Do you guys remember when Cogros had the best G guard? 
I remember. The Nile Griffin, of course, the first card, the first generation card to ever retire cards on your, on your opponent's turn. Uh, the SP, only one listing for, fi for 50 bucks, while the Double R's, they're, there's 10 listings. Uh, they're three to four bucks, but again, this card, the Double R, could, could potentially go, go up to five bucks because the congratulations promo is basically four to five bucks, or basically five bucks, if, in my opinion. So, again, Almost every form of the Nile Griffin is $5 besides the double R's, but I can guarantee you the double R's are heading towards that range because there's only 10 listings of the Nile Griffins on the market. So the Nile Griffins can potentially go up go up in the market. I can see this card going up to five to six bucks. Speaking of generation guards, Golden Beast, Slay Me Flare, SPs are still bought off the market, only one listing for 25 bucks, while the double R's are still holding at 15 bucks with only three listings. So you guys already know, as long as gold pilings are still meta, this G guard is not going to go down in value. Fun fact, if you guys are looking into playing Dark Regulars in premium format, you need this stand trigger, Monochrome of, Night of Nightmare Land. This stand trigger is just too good for, for Dark Regulars. Right now at the moment, there is 10 listings, but this is a $3 common stand trigger. If you can find it, mint condition, of course. But again, this stand trigger is definitely value holding at $3. Now, I know we talked about this before, Karma Collector. The SPs are going for 7 to 8 bucks, while the double R's are holding at $5 each. So, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of cards are either are most likely just gaining value because they're collector cards. And Karma Collector, Karma Collector, is a, is a collector's card, in my opinion. Um, again, the double R's are 5 bucks, which is actually pretty... Pretty amazing to me because there's actually 14 listings, meaning that the other Karma Collectors are going for more than 5 bucks. So Karma Collectors, if you guys actually have them, they do have value. Now someone brought this up to me saying, oh my god, Jungle Flowers, the SPs are being bought off the market because of the new ne Neon Nectar support that we're going to get. I, look, I looked into it. The SP is bought off the market with only one listing for 20 bucks. So that so someone definitely did a buyout on this card, but the regular triple R versions are still holding at a dollar, hasn't really changed with only 13 listings. So Jingle Flowers, the SPs are bought off the market, but the triple R's are still a dollar. So I'm assuming someone did a buyout on this card on the SP versions, assuming this stride would be would be broken. Now this card we have not talked about in a very long time dragonic overlord dx sps are still holding at 60 bucks of with five listings but the triple r's are bought off the market once again dragonic overlord dx is the triple r's once again are bought off the market the only ones on the market are the sps which are going for which are going for 60 bucks each Ah, man, I love the secondary market. Another collector's card that I want to talk about, which people should be collecting, because this card is gaining value. Protect Orb Dragon, the original the original damage on flipping perfect guard for, for Kagero's. There is uh, 10 listings. I'm sorry, no, there's 13 listings. And they're heading towards the 4 to $5 range. There's one moderately played for, for, for 3 bucks. After that, lightly played for 3 bucks and change, and then eventually it's going towards the $4 range. So Protect Orb Dragon's. This card is going up the market because it is a, a it is a collector's card. Speaking of, of collector cards, another perfect card that's uh, that's uh, going up the market. If you have them, um, there is eleven listings for the Steam Maiden perfect card for Gear Chronicles. There's one listing for two for two bucks and change. After that, it's three dollars and change. But again, these cards, these old cards, are gaining value. The original perfect cards for Kagros, OTT, Gear Chronicle, not so much Nova, Nova Grapplers, but a lot of perfect cards from from uh, from from GBTO one or B, BT fifteen or BT eleven. A lot of perfect cards are gaining value because they are becoming a collector's card. So if you guys have a lot of perfect cards lying around your room, I recommend to actually look into them before you put them in your dollar binder. Look up their prices first before you sell them for a dollar because God forbid that perfect card actually might be a three to four dollar card. Now this card we have not talked about in a very long time. Willy Revenger Mana, the rare grade two for, for Avengers. This card was money. It was going for five to six bucks, but it looks like it's holding at two to two to three bucks with only six listings. Again, guys, this is a really old grade two. This of course this grade two is, is still still pretty much broken right now, even though we got a new a new form of, of uh, Willy Re Re Revenge of Mana. This grade 2 still does put in a lot of work. But this grade 2, Revenger Blood Master, the double R's, are still holding at 4 to 5 bucks with 11 listings. So this double R grade 2 has not went down in value. It gained value, in st it gained value uh, I believe, a few, like 2 3 months ago, and it stayed at 4 to 5 bucks. Amazing. Again, 
it's not a bad grade too by the way actually this grade 2 actually does do a lot of work so that's the end of our video for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did indeed enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up if you have if you guys haven't subscribed yet i recommend to subscribe to the channel for more videos such as deck profiles match videos and more mark watch videos and yeah so today's mark watch wasn't that spicy um I mean, I do apologize, but I'm pretty sure it's mainly because a lot of people are saving up their money for Black Friday. Black Friday is the best time to buy singles off the secondary market, especially uh, off TCG Player, eBay, even uh, even other stores such as uh, such as uh, Troll and Toad, Core TCG, and other stores out there online. So again, I'm pretty sure a lot of stores are just saving up their money for Black Friday. I'm sorry, a lot of people are saving up their money for Black Friday. So that's why there's not too many spicy buyouts or, or prices going up in the market. But again, just wait until Black Friday. The second day market is going to be booming. A lot of cards are going to be bought off the market. A lot of cards are going to go up in the market. I cannot wait until Black Friday. Alright guys, I will see you guys next time. Deuces!